are making a survival meets automation game where you capture creatures and add them to your assembly line. And the game is launching January 10th. And if you want to help us out, make sure to wishlist or tell your favorite streamer. Because if they're like, hey chat, what game should I play? And you're like, have you heard of Atrio the Dark Wild? No. Then they go check out the page and are like, oh, it's like a factory building game. Yo, the game looks sick. There's a good chance other people will check out the game and more eyeballs we get on launch, the better chance we'll have of being here. And look, we're a small indie team of three and we could use all the help we can get for launch. But there's one final feature we have to add, combat, which is easy. All we have to do is prototype it, polish it, test it, add controller support, fly to TwitchCon, and host a battle tournament so you can see how well it plays. <laughs> Only problem is that TwitchCon is in one month, which will be fine, I'm sure. In Atrio, you can automate everything from foraging to farming to production. So we had this idea to automate creature capture. So we prototyped this idea where you would activate this seductive mini deer hologram and wait for the deer to come. And then you would drop some specially laced glow bulbs and wait for them to eat them. But you're lazy, so you get the picker pals to grab the ingredients and then set up the factories to produce the bait so the item droppers can drop the bait that will knock out the deer so they can be shipped into the pen that will automatically fill the factory slots so your deer can eat and poop useful ingredients. And it was great. People loved it. Except for the fact that nobody actually liked it. It was boring and not fun to play. Factorio is one of those games that just makes me wish I smoked. Because after throwing away hundreds of hours of my life to an addiction, the least I could have done was look cool while doing it. Not sweating in my basement trying to optimize the perfect line of iron. And when you're 40 hours deep into optimizing the production of iron, nothing is less fun than getting attacked by bugs. Uh, they killed this. So I thought, what if you had supply pods around the world, and if you go up to it, you can order equipment, but they attract creatures. So that way, players can do battle on their own terms. If you leave the area, it'll cancel the order. So let's get to building. And the good news is I don't think it'll take that long. <sighs> so I got it to work and you can order equipment. And when the pushbacks try and attack you, you can dodge and stay alive. And it was great. People loved it, except for the fact that everyone just figured out that you could run around in circles like a Come on, circles, really? <sighs> okay, now the pushbacks adjust their direction to try and cut you off, making it impossible to- Why are you wiggling? Come on! So we have actually been very quiet about controller support. But actually, Francois has been working on controller support for nearly six months to port it to Xbox. Check it out. When you swap over to controller, it automatically changes the way you place items, and the taskbar switches to a completely new configuration optimized for controller. Which means, Atrio runs on the Steam Deck, baby. And technically, because it's in this video, it might be a business expense. And it also means you can play Atrio on the Steam Deck when it comes out January 10th. Because if you didn't know, it comes out January 10th. And if you didn't hear that part, just so you know, it comes out January 10th. Okay, it's time to build out the tournament, but first we need to work on the supply pod because I literally just stole our Yoink. elevator and slapped it in the middle. So all we really need is boom, too big, boom. So it goes down and then it brings up a package. So I got this big empty map. I need to add places to have battles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just need to add the different underground supply pods. Now it's time to paint. We're gonna give each one of these a different biome. So I'm thinking the first one is gonna be all grass, just kind of a forest area, nice and easy. First zone, the grass zone. Second spot, the plains. The blood lay section is done. All right, we got our quartz map now. Just little small details to make it feel more like an actual scene in a game, but it's still quite empty, so you can still go and do battle. This is our grav rock section. And just like that, we have our final section. Wait, what time is it? Oh, shit, my flight. Bye on board. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever HBO tournament. The rules are simple. You just have to have to outlast your opponent. Good luck. Okay, okay, so I skipped ahead to the tournament. Only because seeing the players play is so hype when I'm talking about these new features that I'm about to show you. Watch. There are seven levels, each with five stages, and players go head to head to see who can make it the farthest. I have built a new feature for every single level. All of them are gonna go into the main game, and none of them that you've seen yet. Starting with... 
I changed it so the pushback follows you while it's loading up, so it's much harder to cheese. Also added some bees that follow you around. Why are there, why are there bees on me? Why are there bees? And we went from 16 players down to eight, just like that. Nice try and better luck next time, but now it's time to move on to... Introducing the stun turrets. Now obviously because they only had five minutes, they couldn't set up a full base, but in the real game, you can go nuts. Okay, well, that'll destroy your computer, so maybe don't do that. That is worse! That is so much worse! Boys, round two. As players duked it out, I noticed that some players didn't pick up on the fact that the turrets not only need fuel to run, but can automatically pull fuel in to power it. And they suffered for it. Even during the crazier stages of the level, Maybe I went a little too overboard. Some real contenders started to stand out. Winners emerged. Congratulations, Jaraster. Losers were eliminated. Hearts were broken. And we moved on to. Now we have our top four contenders who each have to figure out how to use the wall healer. It heals walls, obviously. Now in this round, these pop boxes attack the supply pod. So now you're tasked with defending the supply pod and keeping yourself alive. Except the wall healers stopped working mid-tournament. But they work in the real game, see? They work in the real game, okay? Four people left, welcome to the sudden death rounds. All right, I lied. This is not our feature in the game. I just thought it would make for a better tournament if every creature- Let me add a couple zeros. Did infinite damage. And I was right. You guys ready? Yes. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. Now it starts out easy. You guys should be able to make it at least a minute. Now everyone managed to handle the single pushback, but I figured I should just keep spawning them. Oh, oh my god! This is not, this is and with the addition of some bees and some tornadoes, players were starting to crack. Oh, Last two, final round. Let's do it, sudden death. My biggest issue with the previous battles is they just weren't <laughs> small enough. Two, one, go. go. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, no. Sudden death round, baby. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. And as it goes in tournaments, there can only be one winner. Congratulations to our winner. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Ooh, but wait, you said there were seven levels, each with a new feature, but you only showed five. <laughs> oh, you naive fool. You've fallen right into my trap. You see, when I made seven levels, I knew there would only be 16 players. I was aware there wouldn't be enough players to reach the last two levels. The last two levels never existed. They're a figment of your imagination. You see, when I made seven levels, I knew the only way to see the last two features was to play the game on launch. Ah! <laughs> No, but seriously, January 10th. Go buy the game, please. Tell your friends. We worked really hard on it. It's super polished and we're so proud of it. We promise it'll be worth it. Okay, bye.